My name is Dave Bender with the b and Fine Gems, based in Los Angeles, California, in the United States. Uh, we've been coming to Hong Kong for the last 25 years doing business here and trading, but we've uh, started doing the Hong Kong Gem and Jewelry shows uh, four years back. So the primary show here is the September Fair. That's the biggest show of all the fairs, which do take place. Uh, and I think the growth of September has sort of caused the satellite shows to also gain uh, in notoriety, uh, namely the June and March shows. Uh, I think that uh, Hong Kong has really become the epicenter of our industry because of growth in the Far East, but also because of the vicinity to Southeast Asia and Europe as well. Uh, people like coming here, people like doing business here. Uh, Banking is, is very easy for many individuals who do have companies established here in Hong Kong. Uh, so yeah, it's, 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 it's an exciting marketplace. There's a lot of growth, there's a lot of potential, uh, and uh, you know, we're, we're real happy to be here and be a part of all of this. What's interesting about the Hong Kong Fair is that it's not necessarily a show which is you know, limiting you to exposure to the Chinese market. Uh, when we come here to do this show, we do business with everybody from American clients to European clients, people from South America uh, to all over the world, Southeast Asia. Uh, so yes, there, there, there is that exposure to the mainland Chinese market and there are quite a few buyers who do come uh, only to the Hong Kong shows. They don't make it to the United States for the Tucson Fair. Uh, they don't necessarily make it to the United States for shows like the JCK show and, and even in the European shows like Basel World. And, and, and unit fairs. Uh, this is really their chance to come and, and to buy. But uh, like I said, it is sort of the epicenter of our business now. So it's it's a global market that exists here. People from all over the world come here to buy. But uh, in the last five years, we've definitely seen an incredible uh, influx of, of buyers from mainland China. They are focused and concentrated in a certain segment of the market in terms of what they're buying and what they're, what they're consuming. Uh, but they're buying with uh, a very healthy appetite. And uh, what's, what's refreshing about the Chinese market is that they're, they're not afraid to, uh, to test new items and, 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 and to get into new stones and unusual uh, gemstones uh, and, and take them back to their local markets. And, and really, they have courage to, uh, to, to put the capital into our business where a lot of other markets have been lacking that for the last five or six years. Well, doing business in Hong Kong is, is very clean and easy. I think that's a big reason why this, this show has become, these shows rather, have become, uh, you know, uh, very influential. Uh, banking here is very easy. Uh, doing business here is easy. Importing and exporting is very easy. We don't have to worry about excise duties or taxes, uh, uh, you know, put on loose gemstones. So as a gemstone vendor, it's, uh, it's, it's a very easy place to come and do business. And, and, and as a buyer, as a consumer as well, uh, there's security in that ease. Uh, whereas in some European markets, we do have to deal with carne, uh, and we do have to deal with uh, duties upwards of 20 to 25 percent sometimes on, on those gem zones. So in that regard, it, it's, uh, it's advantageous to, to, do, to do business here, and I think that's why a lot of people like coming here. Uh, you know, price range is, is pretty wide, actually, on, in terms of what they consume. Uh, but, you know, one example is Rubelite Termaline. Uh, Chinese consumers basically single-handedly drove up the market for Rubelite in a period of about 12 months. Uh, prices almost tripled uh, in a year uh, because of the Chinese buyers solely. So that's one stone which they've been very, very, uh, you know, keen on uh, acquiring and purchasing. Uh, and in terms of precious material, uh, fine royal blue sapphires today. This is definitely an item that, that Chinese consumers have, have started to, to really go after and uh, you know, for the first time we're seeing them consume items at the very top end of the market and uh, it's, it's, it's refreshing to see that, that there's a new consuming market outside of uh, you know, the, the main markets of uh, you know, the United States and, and Europe consuming high-end uh, fine gems.